G'day guys, g'day girls, how are ya? Um, this one's just a bit of a scrap together video of the Victron uh, off-grid 300 amp hour lithium system we put in. Um, Dan's been a bit unwell lately, so he hasn't put the two extra panels on. But as you know, in the last episode, um, we tested it out, but I didn't get enough sun, but it works fine. Um, I think Nurse was down at the family property not long ago, she had the heater on. Uh, as she does because it was cold um, and no problems off grid however when the sun's out it's, it, I'm only getting just under 200 watts so I've got two 180 watt uh, additional panels to go on so that'll happen later and then Alan's been flat it's just been a crazy week with me and all my issues and people busy at work and all that so I'm gonna, I've just put together a bit of a 12, 13 minute piece together for those um, 12 volt gurus who want to look at upgrading. Um, I've I've let you know all the prices at the end. Um, and you know why? So you have to watch, but you'll probably fast forward anyway. But no, it's just a bit, a bit of a fray together. We did it in the, in the driveway at home uh, here in the, in the suburbs. Um, what else has happened? That's about it, really. Nothing much is... We're planning our trip for uh, out to uh, Outback Queensland in uh, June for three weeks. Uh, I'll put a wiki maps and some features on that where we're going. Up near Roma, there's a station stay up near Gorge. Don't ask me, I don't, I, my memory is shot. Um, we've just become monetized. I think I made 12 bucks for the month, wow. Um, <laughs> But like I said, and you were seeing at the beginning of this video, that everything that we get from monetization, we're going to go into charity. Um, I think that's the best way to do it. Um, this was a hobby, and it is a hobby for me. So enjoy the vid. Um, I'm doing the 0600 uh, challenge for Invictus Australia. That starts on the 1st of May. So you might see some five minute blogs come up. Well, I might condense them all into one episode, um, but I'll put them on the link here, which you'll see. Um, I'm doing that to raise funds because they support, which you might have seen just recently, the Invictus Games Team show in the Hague. They're successful, uh, successful um, games. Uh, very successful, very challenging for them. Um, it's the first games I've missed. I usually go to all of them, um, but circumstances surrounding that prevented me from going. Other than that, if you don't want to do the challenge, you can sponsor me. Uh, and thank you to the kind person who sponsored me. Um, I sent you a message on the platform. Uh, thank you so much, uh, I appreciate that. I've got to tell you, I'm trying to sell the old AGM batteries on Marketplace. Why are some people stupid? Do you have a receipt? When I explicitly explained that they've come out of the caravan. The caravan was bought in January this year, delivered in January this year, and it's gone through three cycles. My fuck. Oh, I don't know. Some people are just stupid. Anyway, Dan, what's going on? What are we up to? Dan's busy. Look at this. Oh my God. Ja Nurso, if you're watching, don't watch because the caravan's a mess. I reckon you should have just waited about another five minutes. So I'll give you a nice surprise. <laughs> yeah, actually coming together, mate. All right. Um, I can wait five minutes. That's all right. Just putting the hot box back on the um, on the inverter here, so giving her a lid back. Um, I'll give you a quick peek inside. Yeah, give like. him a quick peek. Yeah. I'll be too scared to take the lid off that. Jesus Christ, look at that. 
Absolutely. That's like Back to the Future, the flux capacitor on the fucking time machine. Look Indeed. at that. Indeed. 1,121 gigawatts. Oh, beauty. <laughs> yeah, Great, <that>. Scott. <laughs> Very good. Awesome. More installations. Here we go. Look at that. Fits like a glove. Now, now Dan's manufactured, MacGyvered, a little <laughs> shelf in there for me. How good's that? And all you fucking no sayers, he said, oh, it's not gonna fit, it's too big, where are you gonna put the MPS? Well, there it is. Looking pretty. And yes, there's snug. plenty of ventilation as well. And plenty of ventilation. It's just gonna stay where it is. I'm not gonna use their supply battery boxes, uh, battery trays. No? Nah, they're, um, they're shit? Yeah. Are they? They look good. Oh, well, to me, an amateur saying, Oh, they look all right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, um, polishing a turd, basically. You can have a look polishing at Polishing a turd. I like that. Brand new in there, the wheels are... So where are you going to put them on? I'll probably put a couple of new battery trays in there, or yeah, okay. like a build purpose one to fit oh, yeah. in there nicely. Um, cool. I didn't like the way they were sitting against the back of the GPOs and rubbing up against them. So I'll get some clearance and make it happen. All right. all that sitting in there is it yeah so what happened up here with the charge the solar charger up there it's still connected at the moment I'm gonna but that will disconnect and you'll just transfer it to this yeah yeah i'm gonna run new wires over to it uh, in the middle let's go get some content mate some better light in there if you want that's good Fuck, that looks pretty. Oh, yeah. All blue. Looking pretty. As I say, pretty in pink, better in blue. Yeah. Nah, that looks a lot neat, doesn't it? Fuck, that looks neat. Thanks to Dan. That's where it will sit. The old ISI bike carrier. We're going to do up a. Uh, we're going to MacGyver a bracket into here, so the finished piece will show you tomorrow. But look good. So it's coming together. Day one. I fixed my GoPro mount in the car. I was pretty accomplished. So I'm having a beer. Dan's working away. He's doing all the fit out and he's doing the solar tomorrow. Wiring up two new solar panels and relocating the two so the Dometic uh, dust reduction system can go in. Um, and then he's just about done. I've sold most of the gear off uh, Marketplace. The batteries are gone. I just got the projector charger to go. Good times. Cheers. Good times. Hey viewers. This is day two of the um, big install on the uh, 12 volt. Uh, I think the solar panel is going up today. Um, the tank, water tank reader is going in. Uh, what else? The bike rack's getting fully installed. It's not 12 volt, but it's getting there. Uh, it's getting done anyway. Um, oh, and I bought a new head unit. The last one, yep, China quality product again. It, basically doesn't now Bluetooth for some reason. So 180 bucks guys, uh, access. Uh, Autobahn, you can go through Autobahn. Thanks to Sam and the Autobahn Elizabeth team for helping me out. And also helped me out with replacing my car fridge because that shit itself on the last trip. And also Clearview mirrors. I'll do a special episode on that to plug them. But access, this is, it's hard to find a DVD output RCAs um, with a single DIN There's a, and, and double DINs. I mean, I was even going to look at double DIN, but we've got a plan for uh, another fuck 
fucking planes. If it's not fucking trucks, it's planes going over here. But even it's been a while since we've heard planes go over my bloody flight line. Anyway. So yeah, so this is a 12, 24 volt Bluetooth DVD multimedia player. It does everything that the Chinese one does, but it's better quality. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a double din, but we're gonna plan for a bit of a smart caravan instead of a smart home uh, going in later. But anyway, yeah. All right, Dan, what are we up to today? Let's give the viewers a bit of a rundown. Uh, we are going to finish everything up today. We're going to get all the 240 volt wired in. We're going to get the batteries wired up with the shunt. We're going to power it up, program, get the solar on. It's all happening. It's full steam ahead. It's an exciting day today for all you nerds, 12 volt nerds out there. Just hold on to your fucking Hey, hand. viewers, here we are. Look, mate, day two. Dan is pumping out the hours, and I'm going to be pumping out the cash. So here he is. Whoa, he's. he's uh, Put in some hard yards. I've had to order pizza. That's how. That's how. I think he's, we might even have to set up the bed, Nurso. Nurso won't be happy. He might have to sleep in here tonight. But we've got power. We've got it lighted up. 1.21 gigawatts. So batteries are connected. What's going on, Dan? You haven't. You're winning. No. Oh, well, I am getting there. It's. A, by the way, it's 32 degrees here in Adelaide today. So, yeah. It's, it's like a salter box in there. Um, no, we're get, <laughs> getting there either way. I'm just too pedantic with me work, so. Yeah, no, he's good. If you have any work done in Adelaide, you're in Adelaide, reach out to 12, home of the 12 volt, Northern, and Alan will help you out and get down around and do some or sparky work on your van, 12 volt work. Um, he's an auto electrician too, so he'll do work on the four wheel drives, through, but you gotta go through home of the 12 volt. And, so we're getting there. I mean, feeding him beers. I've ordered him pizza. It's all going well. Happy days. Happy days. Oh yeah, batteries. Batteries are plugged in. Look at that. Neat as a tack. 3100 amp hours. Lithium. Yeah. It's dark. It's not all programmed yet, but Alan will go through that minute. So, once he programs it all up, we'll be able to see what it's doing. Um, then he's got to do the solar and a few other jobs, and he's done. Good stuff. All right. So, if you come to Sergeant Nurse and do some work, we actually feed you and we'll give you beers. Yes. Not too many. Isn't that right, Dan? Yes. Not too many beers because you've got to do 12 volts. I'd say 12. Huh? Not that big of a thing. 240? <laughs> No, so yeah, all good. We're getting there. Hmm, big job. Back again. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it's not one for everyone. That that it's if you're looking at getting rid of the Chinese overseas system that's in there, which is it's enough to get you by. Um, but I wanted to put a long-term investment in there, and I wanted to actually be off grid a bit longer. Off grid means relying on sun, solar, and water. So um, not necessarily internet. Everyone's having a go at me because of my 5G tower I've got going. So, um, <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that. And as I sign off, I had a very quiet Anzac day, if you're asking. Um, and thank you for all the kind words on that day and the messages. Um, it's probably the first Anzac day that I didn't go to a dawn service since 1990. So, yeah, long time. That's when I joined the army. Uh, that's it. Stay safe, everyone. Um, we'll probably do another episode or two every couple of weeks until we head up to Queensland and uh, the fun starts. Um, keep uh, subscribing, liking, commenting, following us. You know what to do. Love your work. And uh, let's all hopefully catch up one day and have a yarn. Cheers.